Hello and welcome to October vlog. This is me post Los Angeles trip, looking a little bit tired because of night flight, introducing this vlog. So in this vlog, I'm gonna go to Los Angeles for four days, then come back to New York. And the plan is to enjoy beautiful autumn here and do not miss Halloween season this year. And also I'm gonna to show you some bits of my day-to-day -day life here in New York City, including some fashion, because while we were in uh, Los Angeles, I got two super exciting deliveries that I can't wait to unbox and check. It's my absolute dream trench coat and colorful sneakers, but first, Los Angeles. supposed to be a surprise trip for my birthday fully organized by my husband uh, and the main uh, event of this trip was a cold play concert which took place exactly at my birthday but the thing is uh, my husband's birthday in July and as a gift I gave him tickets to the same concert same location <laughs> it was so funny we both were kind of disappointed because our surprises didn't work <laughs> uh, but in the end we were super happy because we were going uh, to la to see one of our favorite music band coldplay regarding the tickets we actually sold the ticket that i bought uh, back through the ticket master uh, which was uh, actually super easy to do and just because I bought my ticket very, very early on, uh, right after Coldplay announced their dates and just started sales, it cost me 350 for two tickets. And uh, the moment I actually put my tickets back on sale on uh, Ticketmaster app, the uh, suggested price, like proposed price for my ticket was already more than 500 and uh, it sold super super quick and Ticketmaster got their commission so in in the end i got like 450 back which was super super nice but at the same time i think it kind of explains why uh, prices for concert are going crazy right now i mean i think it's partially inflation of course but partially it's also all the resellers so be smart and check all the sales dates for your favorite concert in advance you pick our first year. Okay, everybody, wristband hand in the air, please. Man. Okay, come to Hamdida. Now we're gonna sing in Korean. For all the people you love, like my group of people here. I love everybody, but particularly. <laughs> okay, let's sing together. 
concert itself we also had a very nice few days in LA we didn't do a lot of exploration this time mostly because we've been there uh, just a little bit more than a month ago and we've been there for 10 days and explored a lot Los Angeles and the south of California I didn't vlog but I did post a lot of stories and I saved them in the highlights so if you're interested to see uh, some beautiful places where that we discovered you might want to check my Instagram and this time we decided just to revisit our favorite places in LA uh, and to enjoy beautiful weather to enjoy delicious food and to have this extra charge of summertime before autumn season in New York City <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, now let's talk fashion. I'll confession for a little bit. This is my two deliveries that I mentioned before. I think we will start with the coat. It's from Scandi brand called AF Egger. And I've been thinking about this coat for a very long time, at least three years. Uh, I really love how it looks, but uh, the problem was I have never seen it in uh, real life. And it's quite a treat, it's not a cheap one, but this year I finally decided to give it a try and I ordered it in on their website as a birthday gift for myself. <laughs> so I really, really hope that I will like it when I see it. Well, I still have like 14 or even 30 days to return it, but I think I will need to cover a shipping cost for in this case, which I don't really want to do. So I really, really hope that I like it. My two main concerns is the color of this coat and the second one is the length of the sleeves. Uh, the color looks so different in different pictures that I've seen online and I don't really want to have it like very, very yellow beige. And the length of the sleeve is kind of standard situation for me because, you know, the jeans of my size are usually too short for me, as well as the sleeves of jackets and blazers are also very short for me. I think I'm in love. It's a huge, huge, beautifully oversized trench coat. The beige color, so, so nice. It's also got nice detailing like this cord inside of the collar. And this flappy thing, <laughs> so, so nice. So got a lot of pockets like the standard, this one and this one and one of the main feature i guess this like huge breast pocket i think it's even fit a book here we go <laughs> super super nice so for example in the case if i need to go out and to take with me only like the standard thing like keys money phone lip balm and that's it i can put everything in here and be hands-free which is like super super handy so the length of the sleeves is perfect <laughs> as well as the length of the coat itself and what i also like about these uh, sleeves that they're super super wide which means i can wear like super chunky sweater underneath or you know like any kind of sweaters and top with a very wide uh, sleeves which is kind of trend right now i guess <laughs> first impression 10 out of 10 the quality is so so good it's actually impressive which is especially important for the oversized clothes i believe and it's also such a classy thing like beige trench coat it's super versatile so easy to style and at the same time it's such a statement just because how oversized it is, because of its shape and cut and all of these nice details. Oh, I love it. The second thing is actually Adidas Sambas. Yes, very popular thing for a long time and I want to have them for a long time. But the thing is that the classic color, which is also the most versatile one, is so popular. So many people wear it. So it's kind of affect my opinion and i've been looking for a different color of sambas or gazelle for a long time uh, to find one that i will like and which will, will be also very versatile and i can style with a lot of my clothes so when i saw this one i thought this is probably it let's check Ta -da! oh i love it it's a nice color it's indeed a nice color
hairstyle skills and playing with my new haircut. This time I decided to go for fringe. Just wanted to change things up after I think three, four, five years of maintaining very simple and natural look when I cut the ends of my hair every three, four months. So after this long period of low maintenance hairstyle, I decided to go for the safe version of the fringe, the long fringe. Technically, I don't have any bank at all, but this um, face framing hair uh, in the front and a little bit layering all around, which allows me to do the usual thing for me, just wash my hair, dry them quickly and go if I don't have time. And if I have time, I can style them and play with them. And so far, I really, really like it. Let's see how it goes. Maybe next time I will go for the long bank version of the fringe. And I also want to tell you how I usually choose the hair salon and hairstylist, but let me change first. So this time I went to Fox and Jane salon and it was my third time there and I like them. Uh, the staff is super friendly and nice. Uh, they have a several location around the city and uh, they are very beautiful, at least the one that I visit. And it's overall super nice experience. And I would say the prices uh, for New York City realities are quite reasonable. For example, haircut uh, starts from 100. Well, at least for the long uh, hair, it's going to be at least 100 plus 20% tips, which is kind of expensive, especially if you want to do something very simple like refresh the ends of your hair. In this case, I would uh, suggest to check uh, another uh, Japanese chain, actually. Uh, I mentioned them in one of my previous uh, vlogs and they have like very simple, no shampoo, uh, no styling cut for 35 uh, dollars, I believe. It used to be 30, now it's 35. And they're very clean and very Japanese. They look like if Muji would have their own uh, hair salon. So they're really, really nice. And I usually go there if I need just to refresh. But in case you want to change your haircut or especially coloring and especially highlights, in this case, I would prefer to go like to the proper uh, hair salon. And uh, I would recommend Fox and Jane, to be honest, uh, for the price perspective uh, and also because they have uh, so many different talented uh, hairstylists and uh, the thing with hairstylists is that all of them has one single thing that they are really good at one is gonna be like super good at highlights another in shortcuts uh, the third one with the fringe cut and so on and so on and it's really important to to choose the person who are good at the thing that are you gonna do with your hairs. And all stylists uh, in Fox and Jane uh, have their own professional uh, pages on Instagram where they share the recent uh, work they did for their clients and it's so useful to check them out to check if this person really do a lot of highlights and you really like the results so probably it's a good person to take appointment with this is like the life hack of the person who moved a lot recently <laughs>
do I have some progress with my hair styling skills <laughs> for my new haircut? I'm not sure, but I hope so. Oh gosh, just for the moment. I love, love to live by the water. Okay, so I'm going to the Upper East Side today. I actually have a doctor appointment there and I don't like it. First of all, I have to do the test that I haven't done before. And also like, uh, I don't know, the, the most of the doctor visits are always, uh, uh, afterwards you have to deal with the bills and it's always like some kind of clarification with insurance company, with the healthcare provider needed. And it's always time consuming and so confusing. It's like the most confusing system that I ever experienced in my life. So yeah, not good vibe, not good vibe. But on the bright side, actually the weather is super, super nice today. And I hope I will have a time after my appointment. I really want to take a walk in upper side to check like the Halloween decoration because this part of the city is famous for the really nice uh, Halloween decoration as well as uh, Upper West Side and also I want to go to Central Park of course I don't know if the leaves are turning yellow there already usually it's a little bit later compared to upstate and the other areas in New York City but let's see 